It's the land of a thousand hills, but one whose vision and dreams so higher than the surrounding hills. This is what city planners hope Kigali will look like in another 25 years. A modern city, reorganized with skyscrapers, pedestrian walkways, efficient transport system, and most importantly they see affordable modern housing for an ever-growing urban population. The statistics tell us that we have to redevelop to be able to accommodate big number of people. Densities are important. Also, densities uh, bring more business opportunities. The plan will be implemented in phases. But in a country with limited land, partly due to its topography, officials say it's about using what they have effectively. Already there's a surge in rural urban migration. The city's changing status is attracting more to a new lifestyle and opportunities. It is estimated that Kigali's population, which stands at 1.2 million currently, could triple by 2040. Currently, only 50% of the land here is available for development. Well, the multi-million dollar project also comes at a cost for city residents. Now, some of these commercial buildings will have to come down to pave way for the construction of the new look city. These buildings at the heart of the CBD are among those targeted for the makeover. Tenants have up to March to relocate. Syriac Twagirayeza, a trader who's operated here for the last seven years, says he's excited at the prospects of modernization, but like most, fears for the cost. We can already imagine that the places will be expensive. Therefore, some of us may afford it, while others will not. Even though we understand that we cannot avoid it because it's a cost of development. The city's informal settlements, say to be at 70%, will also be flattened to make way for modern housing units. This depends on the whole economic growth of Rwanda, and the good thing is that the trend is good, has been good. Rwanda is clearly heading for an extreme makeover, but even as the changes are welcome, questions linger as to whether this robust economic growth will equally be felt at individual households. Jean Keo, CCTV, Kigali, Rwanda.